Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you some interesting analysis using IBM Cognos Report Studio. We are going to see how to draw a trending line using linear regression. So today analysis we are going to find out the relationship between two variables. Uh, we will have one variable in x axis. We will call this promotion cost. We have a product promotion cost and we will have another variable in y axis which is called sales. So I would like to know as if the promotion cost is increasing, if I am spending more money in product promotion, is my sales really growing up or not? So in order to find out this relation between promotion cost and sales, we are going to use linear uh, trending lines using linear regression. Let's see step by step. Let's see step by step. So we'll first start with the formal definition of linear regression. Many of you may not be knowing what exact linear regression is, so we'll, it's good we know a little bit. Uh, we'll learn basic about it. So in a statistics, linear regression is an approach for modeling the relationship between a scalar dependent variable. In our case, our dependent variable would be sales. Sales would be dependent variable, and independent variable is promotion cost. Variable y and one or more explanatory variables dependent variable on x axis sorry independent variable on x axis so on x axis we'll have a promotion cost product promotion cost and uh, and y axis we'll have a product sales so it is linear regression is also used to find out the relation between two variables or a flitting linear equation to observe the data in case you use uh, the case of one explanatory variable if you use one variable it is called simple linear regression. We'll see two examples with two variables and single variable as well. The equation looks a little nasty, a little big, complicated, but we'll solve it step by step. In order to make it easy to understand, I'll take you to Excel sheet and explain the requirement, and then uh, we do create a report in Cognos. I prepare a simple example in Excel, and you see this is how it looks like. This is my equation. This is my equation. I highlight it. This equation we are going to learn. So I have a two variable which is called uh, in this equation B1 is called scope and B0 is called intercept. Okay, this is the equation we are going to find out. This is my formula to find out B1 value, scope value, right? In order to easy to understand, I have taken some sample data so that we can easily evaluate. Let's see some sample data. So in this example. I've taken X as a promotion cost. X is my promotion cost and Y is my sales. Right? And we're going to find out the value of B1, which is our scope. Right? Once we have a value for B1, we can find out the other values. Now see in this, the first I've taken some sample data. I'll just remove this. This is my sample data. Mm, yeah. I've taken some sample data promotion cost and amount sold. In order to easy to understand, I've taken some sample data over here with numbers. So this is a mean or average of all the values. This is also average of all the values. When if I look at my chart, it means my x axis is 3 and y axis is 4. My line with essentially essentially intersect this point. 3 and 4 point essentially intersect this point. We need to find out the value, this value, scope value. Right? So how it is done? In order to find out the total equation value, first we identify x and mean of x. x, one value, minus mean of x, which is 3. So 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Similarly, 1 minus, uh, 3 minus, 3 minus 1, sorry, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 3, minus 1, 3 minus 3, 0, 4 minus 3, 1, 5 minus 3, 2. So you find x, and average of x. Similarly, we find y or average of y. You see, I have written, written an equation in my Excel sheet. So, 4 uh, minus uh, x, my, y minus mean of y, y, 2 minus 4, 4 minus 4, 5 minus 4, and so on. I got this value. Now, we need to find out the x minus mean of x and power of 2. Right? So, x minus mean of x, this value, and power of 2. So, power of 2 minus 2 is 4, 1, 0, 1, and 4. And the, the sum of this is my 10. 
Now you have to find out x mean of x product or multiply by y minus mean of y. So I multiply when when I multiply them I get this value. You see written over here d2 multiply e2. I in turn find the value for all the values, the sum of all the values, and I find over here total. So in order to find the b1 value, which is scope. 6 divided by minus 10, 6 divided by 10, it's point 0 0.6. I'll put 0 0.6 into this equation. We already have x value, which is 3, and b1 value, which is minus 6, sorry, 0 0.6, I find over here 1.8. So I already have value of mean of phi, which is 4, b0 plus b1 value, which is 0 0.6, and x value, which is 3. So I find this value. 4 equals to B0 plus 0.6 into 3, 1.8. So B0 value is 2.2, right? It's plus 1.8. I'll take it there and become minus. It become 2.2. It means this is a point. My line will go from 2.2 and intersect to uh, Y and X means, which is 4, 3. So this is my linear line, right? Now let's see how to do this in Cognos. Once we know how to, uh, what does linear equation is, how to calculate this, the beauty is that you don't have to worry about how this gets calculated. Uh, Cognos engine does it for you automatically. So uh, we are going to use the same data model which we have been using from the first day, sales order processing model. I've got two fact table over here, cost and one fact table sales and couple of dimensions like product, channel, promotion, customer and country. Let's create a rec report. So I'll create my report, open my report studio. First we create first report in which, in first report I use only one variable. Create new report. I use a blank report. And formatting you can do the way you like it. I'll quickly create a header and in turn create table and add a tabular view and chart view. And add a linear line. So top I create a block, box, block text box. Add a header, an example of linear regression. And you can in turn use center line, font, color format, whatever you want, you can use it. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, now uh, let's use a tablet table. In this table, I use one is list view, another one is chart view. First I prepare a list view. In the first example I'm going to use only single variable. I like to see product and the promotion cost. A product and the respective sales. So I create a query. First would be very simple. I like to see product, product category, the sales, amount sold, which is my part of my fact table, amount sold, and in different years. We use different year, calendar year and fiscal year, two kind of years we have. We'll select calendar fiscal year and run my report and see the sample output. Okay, I find for different product category, different fiscal year, this is my amount sold, right? Okay, now let's plot a chart over here. In first example, we use a simple chart, simple bar chart and create a linear regression line. A drag and drop chart over here and I'll choose select a simple bar chart stack cylinder chart and I populate my major and my dimension so my major is I create a separate query or I can map to the same query so I map to the same query select this I map to the same query. This is this belong to query one. I'll map map to the same query. And now I populate this with the majors. So I'll see major is my amount sold. With this for a different product category and different year. Different year, different product category. Let's save and run it. I say is a linear regression, example one. This is a simple chart. Okay, I see in different year and different product category, what is my amount sold? 
right? The subsection of your bar, say the contribution percent. When you move your mouse cursor, it'll say amount sold for each year. Now let's draw a line over here and see when linear regression is positive or negative. The single variable. Select this. There's an option, a chart that fall under chart annotation under trend lines and click on the trend lines and there are multiple kind of regression linear and exponential polynomial I use a linear regression for today okay. and then you have an option to define line color line style click on line style I like to display with a dark blue color select the color over here and you can use a label and this is called R square value I like to display R square value so the equation which I have shown you will be visible over here that's it save it and let's run and test let's run and test so I think one thing interesting over here it has a negative linear value so with respect to year and different amount sold I have a linear negative linear regression now let's try to find the relation between your promotion cost and amount sold promotion cost and amount sold and this is my linear value you see okay so I'm going to add another chart over here where we try to relate promotion cost and in different region different promotion cost as a part of promotion how my sales is increasing or decreasing uh, I add another table over here and I create a separate chart over here and this time I use again I use a line chart in a subsequent example I show you how to use a bubble chart and draw a linear line today in order to make it simple to understand we make a cluster cylinder chart okay now in this example I like to relate or oh no I suppose to you because I'm going to use a I'm going to relate compare my two majors so I should have been selected I'll be selecting over here combined chart combination chart okay. I'll do combination chart because I'm using two major in this example so I should be using combination chart select this the two major I would like to relate I've got uh, default majors primary excess and category right so in different countries the major I like to compare my amount sold or sales amount sales and my promotion cost which I put into my primary excess promotion cost right with respect to promotion cost with respect to different countries and different year different country region and different year So with respect to different country, different year, I'm trying to relate my amount sold and promotion cost. Let's save this and run it and test it. Okay, I don't have appropriate data in my calendar year, so I use a fiscal year over here and <coughs> I change the layout. I put my combination chart on the top. Okay. In fact, I just like to focus only on combination chart, so I just remove this part. So I got different country and different fiscal year. What is my sales and what is my promotion? Save it and run it and see how it look like this is how it look like promotion cost is very little it is even touching my bottom right as compared to amount sold promotion cost very little okay. now we see this promotion cost and I draw a line over here to find the relation between them so I select this and go to trend line trending on a chart annotations click on this I draw a new line with linear regression your line style over here draw with a dark blue color little thick three pixel and I show the R value over here R square value and show on chart save it and run it this is how I can see this the linear regression with respect to amount sold and my promotion cost it's a negative irrigation value negative progress right so by using and the value of R over here you can see by using linear regression you can relate to to majors and 
broad trend lines. So year over year, I could see the trending. It's a negative with respect to my promotion causal uh, amount sold. This is a basic example of linear regression. We'll see more advanced example. Uh, the next example, I'm going to show you how to draw a relation using bubble chart. But today, I'm going to stop over here and open for your question. If you have any question, please feel free to write to us and subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more videos. Thank you and have a great day ahead.